policy, we integrate. We mm. aim to integrate mm. traditional medicine to our health services. Mm. So it means that the patient can maybe some patient. I, I can say majority of patients uh. they get both treatment oh. from modern medicine yes. and also high traditional mm. medicine. Mm. I found that one mm. healer mm. they very expertise in non-communicable disease like diabetes, uh, hypertension, hypercholesterolemia. That is the, the health problem of Thailand now. And right now we do a lot of researches mm. about the herbal medicine. Mm. สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thailand Today Program. I'm Kusuma y o t a s m u t Traditional Thai medicine is an ancient healing science, reflecting folk wisdom passed on from generation to generation. a s t a l p r i y a a p a i p u d e t Hospital and its allied network will host ASEAN Health Conference from May 15 to 17. It provides an opportunity. To showcase the use of herbal medicine and Thai traditional medicine, in response to the government's strategies to develop Thailand into a medical hub of Asia, our program today will talk with uh, Ms. p a k a k o n g k w a n k a o She is a coordinator of traditional Thai medicine training program, c h a p r i y a a p a i p u b e t Hospital, Ministry of Public Health. Please join me to welcome Ms. p a k a k r o n g k w a n k a o She is a coordinator of traditional medicine training program, j a p r i y a a p a i p u b e t Hospital, Ministry of Public Health. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ Very welcome to Thailand to the program. Thank you. Well, uh, today one of the another important uh, discussion that we talk about as the j a p r i y a a p a i p u b e t Hospital and its allied network will host an ASEAN Health Conference. But before we get into the details of the conference, maybe I would love to ask you because uh, we Thailand is uh, is uh, actually with the ASEAN friends uh, we normally have a, a traditional medicine. Yeah. So presently, people has gone into more of a traditional. But do can we compare better or worse or what? With the um, two for Thailand policy, we integrate. We mm. aim to integrate mm. traditional medicine to our health services. Mm. So it means that the patient can maybe some patient. I I can say majority of patient <sighs> they get both treatment oh. from modern medicine and yes. also. Thai traditional mm -hmm. medicine mm -hmm. in order to improve quality of life mm -hmm. of patient, mm -hmm. but in some cases mm -hmm. we still we they use only herbal med medicine. For mm -hmm. example, if they come with like a common cold, ah, we can prescribe yeah. endocarpus ah. paniculata mm -hmm. for them mm -hmm. instead of using modern medicine. Mm -hmm. well, when we talk about traditional, you always like uh, some superstitious or a uh, ritual. Yeah, more 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 of that. Yeah, that, uh, uh, how to get rid of that idea about that? Actually, this is one type uh, of uh, folk medicine uh, in Asian country. Okay. But actually, as the the, the name of the conference, mm. Asian Health Wisdom, mm -hmm. is mean the set of practice mm. that people use for maintenance of their health, mm -hmm. or to promote their health, mm -hmm. or prevent diseases, mm. or and include. Treatment and rehabilitation mm. as well, mm -hmm. so it's quite very broad, mm. and it's cover starting from food, exercise, lifestyle, and also treatment. Mm. So in this conference, we are going to talk about these things. Mm. To our audience in foreign country, in 177 country, t h e a p r i a a p a i p u b i t a hospital where you get treated for both, yes. and in, and also in the medical medicine. It's not in Bangkok. It's located somewhere out. Uh, Or Bangkok in the in Pratibury province, which is like an hour or two, an hour or two hours from Bangkok. Yes, so yes. So my question is, when why do you not have in Bangkok too? Because you don't have to travel <laughs> all along there. We we work with uh, some hospital in Bangkok. Uh. We ha we have a relationship, very really close relationship in Ministry of Public Health. Ah uh, yes. And right now there are around twenty twenty hospital. That uh, recognized mm. as the excellent center for Thai oh. traditional medicine I throughout see. the country. Oh. So, if people want to get uh, Thai traditional medicine treatment, oh. 
they may go to these 20 excellent centers. Oh, wow. So located in, can you name a few of the hospitals? Uh, yes, uh, one hospital in, uh, in Supanburi, Utong, Utong Hospital in Supanburi, mm -hmm. or even in Sakyao, mm -hmm. Wang Nam Yen, or Watana Nakon in Sakyao, also in the south, mm -hmm. in Suratani as well, mm -hmm. or in the north and also in Bangkok, mm. under Ministry of Public Health. Mm -hmm. People can get uh, treatment and all that over there. So, but you know, the, because since we have uh, our coordinator is here, uh, the medicine, the traditional medicine is less harmful, or uh, less what, what they call, strong uh, uh, medication than the a so, I mean, so, softer, I think, less. I, I, I think we cannot compare like that mm. because uh, it's developed from different theory mm. in terms mm. of herbal medicine or traditional medicine. We have holistic approach. It means we do not treat only diseases. We also mm. treat the mind and the soul of mm. the patient as well. And as I mentioned mm. earlier about the health wisdom, mm. so we do not only treat patients, but we encourage them to take care of themselves mm. by themselves. Mm. So, for example, uh, we may educate them to grow herb and use herb properly instead of going to, to the hospital mm. to reduce overcrowding hospital uh, problem that uh, we're facing right now. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm one of them. Or one of the pa not the patient, but the one who really admired for that. Getting cough means yeah, 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 yeah. and get done. You know, it's just fabulous of Thai uh, medical anyway. But it might be better uh. if you don't have to buy a paper bag product. Uh. Rather than that, you can buy like you catch a cold, uh. you buy a ginger uh. and drink. Uh. Or if you have like a, a fever, you can grow. Panicul uh, endographist in your garden and use it. It's better. It's mm. safe cost. Mm. Cost of yourself and mm. also cost of the country. Mm. Because you don't have to, to drive to pay for the transportation. Mm. So better grow yourself and don't buy it. Yeah, yeah, wait. <laughs> She's been selling it a lot of it. <laughs> okay, let's come back to this, uh, the, the objective. I mean, you yeah. to arrange the ASEAN Health Conference. So what is the main objective of that? Uh, we are going to gather traditional healer or mm. folk healers mm. from Asian countries. Mm. Uh, so far, there are three countries that cannot participate mm. in our conference, wow. Vietnam, Vietnam. Uh. Singapore and Brunei. Yeah, why? Since they are not, uh, they will be not available at, at, at the day we are going to have conference. But they themselves have their own traditional? Uh, Medicine? For, for Singapore, for Singapore and Brunei, really less. Ah, that's yes. right. That's but right. we quite lucky we got the healers from mm. India and Sri Lanka. Oh, in place of that. Ah, yeah. Oh, they then are you, Yeah, there, there are a lot of healers and mm. it's very interesting. Mm. I found that one mm. healer, mm. they very expertise in non-communicable disease like diabetes, uh, hypertension, Hypercholesterolemia, that is the, the health problem of Thailand now. So uh, we expect that if we can learn from them, if we have used the same earth with them, uh, we can also bring and adopt and adjust in our country um, to address this health problem in our country. Um, that's lucky that we have our, at least our Asian, Asian friends, not Asian, but the Asian yeah, friends we yeah. have with that. So, Oh, what will be the highlights of this event? Uh, there will be two parts. Mm. The first part is the, the exhibition. Mm. In exhibition, we will display about the health, mm. asking health wisdom. Mm. Starting from food, mm. we will show the mm. food that we mm. have the same, I mean, the same item or the same aspect. For example, in many countries, in mm. many Asian countries, mm. we have food preservation process, uh, like fermented fish, fermented mm -hmm. vegetable. In the past, Asian people realized that they need to have at least one time a day to have this kind of uh, fermented food really? in their dish. Ooh. And oh. so far, currently, we oh. found that from scientific research, it showed that in these fermented foods, 
it contains probiotic or bacteria that has very good benefit to our gut. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. So th this is the, the, the way that uh, mm. Asian people mm. practice. Mm. Mm. And also another part, we will bring traditional healer to share and exchange their experience. And we hope that if we can continue this kind of activity every mm. year, mm. we will have the knowledge. Mm. And we, did, we can use this knowledge to expand our services and also to educate mm -hmm. our people mm -hmm. to learn and to use for mm -hmm. taking care of themselves and their family members. Mm -hmm. It's good to know because just hear from you that the fermented to you, you, you said it's a kind in Thailand is what is it is a uh, pak dong. Oh uh, yeah, but uh, uh, opara. Uh, oh, that, that's that's supposed to be good. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, but okay. we have to prepare in the food anyway, process. Uh, oh, yeah. okay, because uh, um, hygienic needed. Yeah. So oh, so that's that why in in mm. my hospital we normally organize the training. Mm -hmm. I mean, for general people, mm -hmm. for general population, to do like a ferment food, mm -hmm. how they can do mm -hmm. in the good process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so because of what you say. Because uh, many other countries like uh, Korea have the kimchi. Yes, that's where they hardly. And 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 right now they they earn a lot of money from <laughs> exporting <laughs> this kind of food. They eat daily. Yes, the, the people and also for if European they use the cheese and all that also fermented. Yes, it's yes. very true, very true, very interesting. So could you please tell us about the herbs, herbal science uh, development? For uh, what we call for health uh, protection. Um, for my experiences, I can say that mm. Thailand is quite advanced mm. in terms of traditional medicine mm. because uh, there are very few countries that can integrate mm. this uh, traditional knowledge or traditional services mm. to health system. Mm. Even in European country or in developing several developed country. Mm. When the people want to use traditional medicine or mm. alternative medicine, mm. they have to pay. Mm. But for Thailand, they can you, asset free of charge. You can go behind the house. <laughs> or the, or, 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 or even you, you, you don't have to pay if you can prepare by themselves at mm. home. Mm. Yeah. And right now, we do a lot of researches mm. about the herbal medicine. Mm. For example, I, as mm. I mentioned before, mm. about fermented food or about the, the, the quality or, or uh, the effect, medical effect of mm. herbal medicine. Mm. And I think this one is, I can say that Thailand is one of best practice in mm. terms of Thai traditional medicine. And mm. we can share this to the, our neighbor. Mm -hmm. How popular we are on this medicine? Um, Alternative medicine. Uh, you mean in Thailand? In Thailand. Uh, the statistic that I got from Ministry of Public Health, every year we, in, I mean, public hospital, we mm -hmm. can provide Thai traditional medicine services to mm -hmm. patients around 20%. Mm -hmm. It's been that 100 uh, patients that come to hospital, around 20 of them use traditional medicine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quite a huge number, mm. and the number is going up year by year. The price also that mu not that much, no? Yes, so, yes. Uh, affordable prices and the good effectiveness are very quick. Yeah, um, it depends on the, the, the diseases mm. that patient gets. Mm. But mm. I think what we try to do now in terms of Ministry of Public Health mm. to mm. strengthen self-care practice mm -hmm. among population. Mm -hmm. how, can, how can we use Earth as a gatekeeper mm -hmm. to, how can I, I say, reduce the patient to go to the hospital? Mm -hmm. Only this, the, the, mm -hmm. the patient that necessary to use the service go mm -hmm. to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, th so this is what we are going. To do now. Mm -hmm. So, any other uh, traditional healing hospital uh, for the special, like specialist clinic or uh, to treat parasite or chronic diseases? 
Yeah, as, as I mentioned before, mm -hmm. there are to, around 20, 20 excellent, excellent center, uh, you and said, also this, uh, this this hospital are under Ministry of Public Health, mm -hmm. but there are also uh, hospital in outside Ministry of Public Health, like Silila Hospital, mm -hmm. also provide traditional mm -hmm. medicine, mm -hmm. and also we ha uh, have a private clinic as well Ooh. that oh. provide. Mm -hmm. Uh, treatment according to Thai traditional medicine theory. Mm, that is interesting because that must be because when when, uh, when you mentioned about the uh, Sirila Hospital, which is one of the prominent hospital in Thailand. Uh, yes. Well, still using this. Yes. Maybe they have even one portion of it, but not portion. Sorry, portion is too little, but a huge uh, area. Yes. Or yes. Dividedly for for. Uh, for people to, to get treated there, even massaging. How about massaging? Well, what we already have you here. Massaging is also one part of it. It's a kind of a yes, Thai, yes, Thai yes. treatment. Yes, yeah. yes. Very How good it is? Maybe our audience in 177 countries want to, want to hear that. Um, massage actually is like acupuncture. Uh -huh. It's not only for treatment. Mm -hmm. Suppose we have like back pain, mm -hmm. we have shower pain or frozen shoulder, mm -hmm. we can use uh, massage. Mm -hmm. But for according to mm -hmm. theory, mm -hmm. it can improve energy in the body. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. we in Thai traditional medicine, we believe that we are still alive because of energy in the body. Mm -hmm. So if we can get massage, uh, maybe mm. like uh, mm. once or two times a week, yeah. it can improve energy flow mm. in our body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. So how about making Thailand into a, a real hub of the traditional medicine? I think it's possible in, I mean, in ASEAN region, mm. because as I have been to several ASEAN countries mm -hmm. and also attend the, the international conferences, I can say that Thailand is quite advanced mm -hmm. in in ASEAN region. But mm -hmm. however, if we uh, we cannot we may cannot compare with like China or India. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we have to go move forward to do, to improve our quality of services and also the product. Mm -hmm. There are some of the herbs that uh, seem to be like lasting. I mean, you said it's a bit more, and it's got to grow again. And what I mean is scanty. You lose yep, yep, that's yep. scanty of that. Is there a possibility of regrowing it or something? Uh, in some university, like Mahidon University, they are going to do this kind of project uh. by using uh, the new technique. Mm. Yeah, to do. But oh. uh, we oh. we just oh. start that. Uh, but uh, I think the the country that we can learn from them is China. Oh. Yeah, they, they, they do a lot of this kind of project in that country. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and Thailand and China, we have uh, our relationship with, is very close, mm -hmm. so we can learn from them. We send researchers mm -hmm. to learn from them. Mm, very interesting. Uh, following the government's uh, policy yes. um, to support uh, Thai research or development or to get it better or higher quality, is there any possibility, or we still need, or we don't need any more, a more uh, standard? It's already done. It's already gone, or what? Or Actually, uh, in, in in Thailand, we have uh, we have our own standard, and also for like uh, uh, the product, we have international standard, mm. like the product that can sell in the market mm. need to have GMP at least GMP. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. ASEAN standard, mm -hmm. but the, the highest standard like mm -hmm. GMPPICS, mm -hmm. also there are around 30 factories that can achieve this, the highest standard. Mm -hmm. So, but what we have to do in the future, we have to think about cell reliant on health. Mm -hmm. How we can use mm -hmm. earth in some item of earth to substitute modern medicine, mm. because we don't have to, even we have to pay more, mm. but this money flow in our country, rather than send to yep. other countries. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. Let me come back to the, the, our time is approaching to this. So ASEAN Health Conference, where is going to be held? Uh, it will be held in 
my hospital, uh, South Pia Kai Pubet Hospital. Okay. Oh, it's right there itself. Yes. So how do the people come? Because it's far away. I mean, <laughs> we arrange the transportation for them. Uh, and actually, in every country, we have financial support for them. All of them. Yeah, but oh, uh, how many, uh, how three, 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 three participants each country. Oh, oh just yeah. for three but each. Uh -huh. there are three mm. or two countries that uh -huh. they want to pay themselves. Oh, they're rich. Yeah, <laughs> and since they, ha they have extra participants. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. so uh, totally mm. there are going to be around 60, 60 international participants. Foreign participant, mm -hmm. and we also have forty participant from Thailand. Mm -hmm. Why choose Thailand as a venue? <laughs> because Why not India or like we said. May, maybe because of of my hospital, we we realize the importance of health wisdom. Oh, this is arranged by us, by by your by by our pipe by pipe Yes, mm -hmm. because you, you, you I creation. think you know you know that uh, our product uh, is made from actually the knowledge for developing our product mm -hmm. is come from mm -hmm. folk medicine. Yes. So we realize uh, the importance of this, and we realize that if we don't keep it, mm -hmm. one day it will be disappear. Mm -hmm. So better have collaboration with ASEAN country and continue this work. Mm -hmm. At the same time, if for those who have not visited Japriya Apai Pubet, you miss it because it's a beautiful building. You know that that yes. can you can you brief a little bit on that so that they may have opportunity to turn up there. Yeah, Japriya so Apai Pubet building is actually is you is built for King Rama V, uh -huh. and it was the the. Is was given to mm. King Rama the Sikh, mm. and he has visited there for he visited there for three to four times, mm -hmm. and after that he give he gave this building to be the hospital. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. I have half minute for you. Please invite the people to come over, please, on the May fifteen to seventeen. Yes. Uh, actually, the, the participant that can join in this conference, we already have, uh, we already invite them. But for the people who are interested in conference, you can look at our Facebook. We will have a Facebook live through Sumun Prai Apai Pube. Mm -hmm. So you not miss the opportunity from May, what, May 5th, May 12th? Yeah, 15, May 15 to, to uh, 17. Yeah, so this is a great opportunity because this is a uh, well to not only not only listening to everybody is it the open open floor uh, open for everybody free 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 entrance. Uh, we no oh, we, no this among it among, is cross station the cross station but oh, we will station. have a Facebook live ah so you can have an opportunity to see for those who are not interested in that but the the benefit that we're getting from that because of those who visited there see your place going around places and all that. Well, it's very interesting. <laughs> so wish you all the best for all your undertaking thank you. and all that. Thank so you so much. We end our program by thank you so much to Ms. Pakakrong Kwan Kao. She is a coordinator of traditional medicine training program, Ja Priya Apai Pubet Hospital under the Ministry of Public Health. Thank you so much, ma'am, for being here. Kwan Ka. Kwan Ka. Ms. Pakakrong Kwan Kao, coordinator of Traditional Medicine Training Program, Jao Priya, Apai Pubet Hospital under the Ministry of Public Health. Thank you so much for being here with us and enjoy our program today. Have a good time and see you again. This is Kusuma Yotasmut. Swadika.